Hello guys, Paradoxio here. Welcome back to a brand new video, everybody. Uh, today we are going to be getting into embeds for our Discord bot. This is part three of our building a Discord bot in Python series 2024 edition. And uh, today, basically, we are just introducing the embed object. And uh, essentially what we're going to be able to do with that is uh, send embedded messages. Now, you've probably seen embedded messages before. They're not like normal messages. Um, they usually contain images, URL hyperlinks, uh, they usually have a colored bar on the side, and uh, yeah, so that is what we're going to be making today. Now, uh, to get started, we need to make a command that uh, will be invoked when we want to uh, send the embed. So to do that, we're going to type in at bot.command, and we're just going to call this command send embed. And we're going to pass in ctx. And uh, in here, we are going to go ahead and make our embed object. So we're just going to call this embedded message. We're going to set it equal to discord.embed. And uh, in here, we pass in three main parameters. There are more, but uh, there's only going to be three that we're really just worried about. And that's title, description, and color. So for title, we are going to set that equal to title of embed and for description it's going to be description of embed and for color uh basically we have a lot of colors we can uh select uh the select one we're just going to type in discord dot color or yeah dot color with capital and then uh we just type in the method uh the color method that we want and there's a whole lot of different ones now, I usually pick green for most of my embeds, sometimes blue as well. Now, if you don't want to use the already built-in color methods, uh, what you can actually do is just set this equal to a string and then paste in the hex code of the color that you want to use. So uh, just know you don't have to uh, use this method here. We can just paste in a string with a hex code. Uh, another cool thing is there also is a random uh, method. And uh, all that really does is just select a random color for the embed. But for now, we're just going to leave it as green just for the sake of the video. And then we need to add in a thumbnail. Now, uh, all these elements that we're going to be adding to our embed, they are optional. You can add whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to show you most of the ones that we usually see all the time. Uh, so the first one, we're going to type in embedded message dot set thumbnail. Now, in here, uh, we pass in a URL web link, uh, and you could just do an empty string uh, and then paste in the URL to the image. Or, what you can do is you can uh, get the image from a file. Now, I'm not going to show that uh, in this episode because we're going to be using the discord.file uh, object, and that honestly uh, deserves its own video as itself. But what we can do is we can get the URL link for a person's profile picture or uh, even the server's uh, icon. So uh, for this one, we're going to do our uh, profile picture. And to do that, it's just ctx.author.avatar underscore URL. And that's it. Now let's go ahead and add a field. And, uh, whoops. Add field. There we go. Now, uh, something to keep note is you can only add up to, I believe it's 25. Yeah, only up to 25 fields. So uh, after that, uh, you can't post any or you can't add any more. But um, in here, we're going to pass in name, description, or uh, sorry, value in an inline. And uh, for name, we can just put name of field. And for value, we can put value of field. And I'm going to also uh, put a space in between to make it look nicer. And uh, the really important one is going to be inline, which takes in a Boolean value, so true or false. 
And uh, basically all this does is it's going to specify how you want um, the fields to be displayed. So setting inline to true will basically put this one field in value here, the next field in value here, and the next one here, and so on. While setting it to false will just display the fields from top to bottom. I prefer false, but uh, you might prefer true in some situations. It honestly just, uh, it's up to you. And uh, for the next one, we're going to do embedded message dot set footer. And in here, we're going to pass in text, which is basically the same thing as name. And then we're just going to put in footer text. Now this takes in an icon URL. And we can just make that equal to the author's avatar. Uh, which in our case would be the person that runs the command. And there's one more, and that's going to be set image. And all this is, is just uh, setting a big image in, in the embed. And uh, for here, let's make it the actual, uh, let's make it the guild's icon. Or uh, the server's icon. Now, there is another uh, method for this, and it's called set author. And basically... It does the exact opposite of the footer. Uh, when you use set footer, all it does is it'll put um, it'll put this text and the icon all the way at the very bottom of your embed, whereas set author will do it at the very top. So it's honestly up to you on uh, how you prefer to use that. I prefer mine on the bottom. But uh, now uh, what we need to do is we need to actually send the embed. So we're gonna type in await ctx.send and we're gonna pass an embed equal to embedded message. Now, if I go ahead and run this, make sure we have no errors. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sweet, so bot is ready. Gonna go into my Discord server, see that my bot is online, and we're just gonna type in dot send embed. And all right, so it looks like we do have an issue, and it looks like this might be the problem. So, looks like it wasn't supposed to be avatar URL. That is my bad. I believe it's actually just avatar. Okay, so it was just avatar, not avatar URL. But as you can see, we have the title and description, the name and value of our first field, the thumbnail, which is this here, my icon, or my uh, profile picture, and then the image is the server's icon. And here we have our footer and our uh, icon there. Now I could show you basically what um, the author looks like or the set author looks like. And then I can just come at the top, change this to set underscore author, and then set make that name instead of text. And if I go ahead and run this again, as you can see, uh, this is the, this is the author. This is the footer. So they're just basically opposites. So uh, now that we have made a uh, command that makes an embed and uh, adds elements to it and sends it, let's make an actual command that can be pretty useful. And uh, to do that, we're just going to make a, a ping command. So we're going to type in bot dot command, and then we're going to call it ping. Pass in ctx. Then uh, we're going to type in ink embed Let's see in ms and then color is going to be green or whoops or actually let's do blue this time there we go since we already did green and then uh ping embed dot add field Name equals, uh, let's actually do an F string here because I want to do bot.user.name latency. And then value is going to be equal to that. And then in here, uh, we are going to type in uh, round. Bot dot latency 
times 1,000. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to put MS at the end. And an inline. Now, this doesn't really matter because we're only dealing with one uh, field. But we're just going to set it to false just to get it in our habit if that's what you want to do. And then we can set a footer. And a uh, text is going to be an F string. And we're going to put in requested by ctx.author.name. Then icon URL. And uh, we could use the bots icon. So we can do bots. Uh, actually, I don't think I don't think there's one for bot icon. We'll just do a uh, author's icon. There we go. Or uh, avatar. Yeah, don't want to make that same mistake. And all we need to do is just send it. So await ctx.send embed is going to be equal to ping embed. There we go. Now if I go ahead and run this code, shouldn't have any problems. Yep. Go to Discord and type in dot ping. And as you can see, it sends our bots latency. So ping, which is a title, latency and MS, the description. Then we have our field, YT bots latency, which is pulled from this bot.user.name here, that attribute. And then uh, we have 63 MS, which is pulled from uh, the rounded, uh, the rounded amount of bot.latency times 1000. Rounded quantity, that's what I was looking for. And then uh, here we have requested by pdocs.hawk and in my icon, which of course is pulled by ctx.author.name and ctx.author.avatar. So uh, that is pretty nice. So we made a more professional uh, looking message for our bot uh, by putting in an embed. And of course we have the blue line as well from setting our color to blue. So that looks pretty good. Uh, this makes your bot look a lot more professional uh when you're running commands and it ha and having it send messages so i highly recommend using embeds they're pretty easy um really all you gotta do is just get used to the uh methods and what the uh parameters are asking for and uh other than that you should have a pretty good time with them uh that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you have enjoyed this video and like to see more just like it be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave a like, and leave a comment on what you would like to see next video. Oh, and don't forget to join my Discord server. The link is in the description. If you're ever having trouble with your code, that is a great place to find resources and help. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, and you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.